Awesome, Michael. I'm so glad to hear you're enjoying the class. I love this class. I really do. I teach this class all the time and I just love it because I get to watch students become better designers right in front of my very eyes. It's just such a hands-on class that really teaches you a lot about the elements and principles of design also while, I mean, through the execution of the assignments, also while teaching you the basic functions of, of Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator, um, not to mention page layout. So you're kind of getting a lot of different things thrown at you in this class and I just think it's just set up fantastic. I love watching the learning process in this class. So, so glad to hear you're having a blast in this class. Let's go ahead and jump right over to your ad, which I have open right here, all set and ready to go fit in the window. Michael, this is outstanding. Hierarchy is, 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 is actually remarkable. Um, there's a couple of areas I think that we can improve just a little bit, but basically I, I think that uh, we're really, really off to, to something good here. So let me just go ahead and describe what I would do. All right, dog days of summer, every dog has its day. This is a really good marketing. I mean, it's in the marketing view, this is really, really clever, really nicely done. My recommendation here is just to move this down a little bit in the composition. Watch my cursor right about here. Okay, instead of right up here, move that down to start at about right here or so. Okay, just give a little bit of room at the top margin there. Okay, then this wonderful left alignment here. Nice, nice, nice job there. I think this is a bold typeface. Is this Arial bold or is this Arial regular? It should be Arial regular. It seems to have a lot of visual weight to it. Could be a rendering from the PDF. I don't know. Check it and let me know. Um, the actual type itself, I think, is a little bit large, the typeface size, so I would reduce that. I think there's just too much emphasis on the actual body copy itself. We want to eliminate that by either A, setting it in, if it is if it is set in a bold, um, set it in Arial regular, um, and then also reduce the type size a little bit. If you print your ad out in black and white, be sure to print it out black and white, that way you're not using all your coloring. Print it out in color ink. Print it out in black and white, take a look, and you're, you're gonna see this type is pretty large right here. Um, okay, so this whole top of the composition is excellent. I love the dog. It's, the placement on this side is really it redistributes the weight as far as the imagery portion of the assignment of the uh, composition. So that's excellent. A couple of recommendations down here. I think that are going to help some things. Um, now I happen to think that that bottom of this ad is a little visually heavy. Um, based on that dark purple. Now, if you want to add color, I don't know, do you need color? Um, I, it depends what's behind this color bar here. If there's more image to work with, I would recommend just placing the logo in the lower right-hand corner and, and placing the, oh, you know what? That's gonna be a problem because this probably, yeah, that masked image is gonna create a little bit of a, of a problem therein. Okay, I see why you added the, Okay, well, I'll tell you what, if that's the case, then maybe consider using that teal color. I think that teal color will reduce the visual weight uh, in this, this footer area simply because that you're going to find in these teal colors right over here in the waters. And I think that's going to create a nice continuation and more, it'll be more effective in redistributing the weight as much as being too visually heavy at the bottom of the composition as the purple is. I think the purple is really heavy. So try that teal color. And then what I would do is I would take the logo, move it over to the right hand side of the composition, take the, the, the type. Uh, contact information, move it over to the left side of the composition and left align that type, don't center alignment. And that's again going to redistribute some weight because right now I think the logo along with the dog, along with the text is a little bit too heavy on the left hand side. So we'll just take a little bit of that weight and counterbalance to the right by changing the, the position of the logo from the left to the right, the position of the contact information from the right to the left while left aligning that contact information. All right. So other than that, I think it's a fantastic job. You're paying attention. That's that's for sure. So th th this is an excellent, wor excellent work. Yes. Um, so any questions at all, please let me know. All right. Awesome. Thank you very much.